G'day gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. Just uh, woke up this morning, had a bit of a quick look at my line chat, noticed a fair bit of buzz around Doctor Strange, which I kind of expected to be honest. So what we're going to do in today's video, we're going to rank him up to tier 3, so we're going to advance him. Uh, you can see on screen, and I mentioned in my last video actually that I already had him really well built. Like this, so this is exactly how he was uh, this morning. Um, level 70, I think he was my first level 70 character. He had all max Yuru from back when we used to use him in Alliance Battle Extreme. Uh, seems like a long time ago now when we were doing that. Um, and just have a look, see how much resources we got. So 63,000, bam. Sometimes I like to keep a bit of an eye on what resources I use. I don't know why I've got so many. Um, 2,974 CCF, 10 Blast Books, which is the most important part, and a bunch of Titan component packs as well. So we're going to start ranking up his gears here, and what we're hoping for is some low rolls. Uh, I like seeing less than 20, so that was a good start. This borderline, if I can get under 10, I'm extremely happy uh, with the number of upgrades there. Look at that. Perfect. That's perfect. Let's let's get all as many of them as we can. Saves on uh, Titan component packs. Saves on Bam. Not that I'm short of Bam. And saves on gold. Not that I'm really short of gold either. With 1.03 billion there. Uh, I like to hover around the billion mark with gold if I possibly can. I don't know why. It's just a mental thing. Uh, seven upgrades just before. 20 upgrades there. Uh, what do we got coming up here? 15. Yeah, I'll take that. That's pretty good. Um, and what we'll do is, because I already have him equipped with an immune to guard break, and I've been thinking about this morning, I thought, should I rank him up, should I not? Um, the fact of the matter is, I, I got up this morning and I thought about it, I tried Iron Man tier, tier 3 in, in Alliance Battle just in free for all day, as it is free for all today, day to day, so no restriction day, and it took me about 5 goes to hit 3.5 million, you're kind of going, yeah, big deal, you know? but. If I can save 20 minutes a fortnight or half hour a fortnight running ABX, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do that if I can. At this point in time, I'm really busy with work, really busy in real life, so it makes a lot of sense to me if he is uh, as good as what we think he is to rank him up to have him as ABX meta. And to be honest, it's going to future proof my roster. So if it's and it's probably not if when the actual alliance battle cap gets raised above. Uh, 3.5 million, which is going to happen. I, I reckon it will happen in the next four to six weeks, to be honest. I could be totally wrong, but I, I would say after the next update, if it's not done, you know, and I don't mean the mid-month update, here we go, we're about to get him uh, get him ranked up to Tier 3. This is always a big moment for me. I like saving my material, so it's always a big deal when I rank them up to Tier 3. It's kind of like, yep, it's a, it's a milestone. And that's a pretty cool animation, actually. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I like that. That's pretty cool. The animation, and I get what half a half a circle of the agent badge thing, as well. I'll share it with my teammates, uh, so they can say, "Yep, you you little ripper," and uh, collect three hundred thousand gold there. So, you know, it. it I th I think if he's as good as what I think he's going to be in alliance battle, um, then, and I'll rank his uniform up to to mythic as well then he's really future-proofing my roster. And I can get back to grinding Blast Books in case there is a Blast Villain in the near future, uh, which could be, we, we kind of thought Mysterio might get a Tier 3. Kind of glad he didn't. Um, I'm kind of glad they stuck with the native Tier 2s, to be honest. Uh, but there's not too many more of those to go, uh, native Tier 2. So what we're doing here is just ranking up. What am I doing? Why am I even bothering ranking that up? I've already got the stuff sitting there in inventory, the, the rank 6 BAM. Anyway, a bit of a brain fade right there. And luckily I got an energy attack straight away so I don't have to re-roll that uniform option. Uh, you'll see I've got HP there in the third slot. What have I got there? Oh, he's just at normal. Okay, so I'll take him up to advanced. Uh, give me a tiny little bit. Doesn't really add much, to be honest. A tiny bit more energy attack there on the second uh, uniform option. And what are we going to do? Are we going to... Yep, let's go again. There goes the old uniform upgrade kits. And so, yeah, what's... The, okay, so he's at level 2. Oh, let's give me a little bit more energy attack there in the second slot. I'll leave it HP for now, because I'm going to take him for a run in the Alliance Tournament, which is around about an hour away uh, from when I'm actually making this vid right now. 
And we're going to take him in for a running alliance tournament. I expect to get absolutely demolished. Uh, you can see I haven't got him set up really for, for PvP. There's no HP Yuri, there's nothing like that. But I'll leave that third uniform option as HP and we can change that back later. Um, we're, we're facing Invictus actually this week. I'll change his first uniform option to dodge. That's pretty good for ABX and uh, AT because I will be putting a CTP of Rage on him. And that's what his stats look like at the moment. So I'll come back um, after the Alliance Tournament match. We'll see how he goes. I'm, he could get absolutely demolished. He's got a, a pretty shit box, four star oblique on him. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. We'll do a couple of type enhancement here, enhancements here. My least favorite part of the game, to be perfectly honest, these type. There we go, fail. These type enhancements are the least favorite part of my game. Um, I really dislike this system. Oh, got lucky on level 3 there. So I'll do that, throw him in the Alliance Tournament. I use him for PvP anyway, so even with an ABX build, he'll be handy in, you know, he'll be handy in, uh, in PvP for sure. Not in the Alliance Tournament. You can see what I had him just there, so it was a 4 star immune to guard braid of Blisk. Poison damage, why I've got that on him, I have no idea. Probably just when I, um, you know, when I took whatever Oblisk I had off him last time, it was just a piece of crap one that I had laying around. That probably has been useful for Alliance Conquest and uh, stuff like that, and, and useful on occasion in actual timeline battle. So I'm going back over all his uniform options. Ebony Moore got a bit of work to do on that one. That's at normal rank. So let's chuck him into the Alliance tournament and see how he fares against a very, very OP opponent in Invictus. We'll be lucky if we get any wins at all. Um, I think I'll take, uh, yeah, I'll take Deadpool out here and leave it with Gene. Uh, Doctor Strange and Thanos, even though I don't have immune to guard break on Thanos, which is pretty garbage. But, uh, and let's see how he goes. Let's see how he fares in the old Alliance tournament. And, uh, see if we can, see if we can manage a lucky win or a surprise win. So I've picked this opponent here. He's got, uh, 2099 level 70. Um, in hindsight, probably a bad matchup for me. I don't know why I went for an option that had speed when I'm running 2 blast. Um, it's pretty stupid, but Doctor Strange got demolished in that match. So, what we'll do in a second is we'll actually see how long Gene's going to live for here. She usually goes pretty good on the revive Gene, but it's three versus one, 30 seconds to go. I doubt she'll last a distance. Either way, I'm demolished here. I'm beat. Not hugely surprised, but I thought if Doctor Strange had got into his fifth skill, that potentially he could have lasted a little bit longer, would have given him uh, that immunity, and then with the immune to guard break, uh, invincible oblisk, I thought if he can get past that sort of 10 or 12 seconds mark, he might be able to start making some inroads with his, um, you know, with his freeze skill and with his uh, debuff skills as well. Jean's actually going all right, so she's lasted a distance, actually full health at the end. How she does that is beyond me, but. Um, there we go, I got defeated very comprehensively there, comprehensively there by Invictus. I'm pretty sure my opponent had around about 40% HP and a HP proc. What we'll do is I noticed when I was going into my fight that actually on my defense, I won. Which is, which is quite a mission against these guys. These guys are really OP, you know. So let's see what happens here. He goes straight into his fifth skill, Doctor Strange. He's getting the guard broken a lot, even though he's got immune to guard break, but I don't understand that mechanic. Um, here we go. We've got Strife down. So clearly I've won the match. And what's happening? I just want to see how Doctor Strange performs, to be honest. He's smashing it. He's rocking his fifth skill and his second skill. And he's holding his, he's holding his own pretty well. Surprisingly, my Thanos isn't going too bad with a CTP of Rage as well. This is a rare event when I'll win against one of these uh, AT alliances. And wow, Thanos just destroyed the opponent's Thanos. What's happening here with Strange? Hang on, he's doing his tier 3 skill. There's a few Strangers on the screen. And that's looking pretty good for, for my team. Oh, hang on, he died through his tier 3 skill. Probably not that good then. But he's actually gone pretty well. Like, he's lasted against a really OP uh, opponent uh, with a very strong setup uh, for, a, for a long period of time. Anyhow, enough of that. That's not my specialty. I'm not very good at it. I was kind of just thought, well, you know, let's let's do that while I've got the invincibility of Bleask on him. 
But now I'm going to change him over, change him over to a CTP of Rage, and I've gone through and adjusted his build to Alliance Battle. I haven't put super strong Euro on him. I've still only got five star energy attack Euro. Um, I've tried to max out his crit damage, which is not ideal. I've got his fourth gear option actually set to crit damage. And here's my stats. So pretty maxed in most, th most things there. Crit rate doesn't matter with him. He gets 60% guaranteed crit rate from his fifth skill. Um, but I would have actually liked to have seen his dodge higher in those stats. You see my cha chaotic eyes so here's a, they're all attacks, um, but no dodge option on the end. So it's not an ideal build here that I've got. It's pretty damn good, but it's not ideal, that's for sure. And what I'm going to do in the Alliance Battle run, yeah, that energy... Okay, let's upgrade that once more. I'd like to see if I can get these ones to heroic for my um, Alliance Battle units, for the, for the actual attack options. And I've got just a few uniform chips there, so may as well just use it and, and get it out of the way. But for the Alliance Battle, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do the same rotation as what I used to do uh, when I used to run him in ABX, however long that was ago, a couple of years back I guess it was, when we all kind of got sick of him pretty quickly because it's just doing the same rotation over again. Uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. He's not the most exciting unit, but let's see how OP he actually is. Let's see how we go here. I've only... yeah. Okay, bring it on, beast. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. And look how quick his t tier 3 meter is filling up, so bang, I'm at tier 3 already, 12 seconds into the match. You can see his, his sort of uh, illusions come out there uh, through his tier 3 skill, and I'm just going into the next skill that I have about available, whether it's the 4 skill or the 5 skill, as soon as he's, as soon as I see the legs from his clones appearing on screen, that's what I'm doing, I'm getting through the 3-2 as quickly as possible, letting the 2 skill run a fair way, Tier 3, and already I'm, I've got away with something like 3 or 4 Tier 3 skills. And look at the damage is just insane. And the Beast, I'm kind of feeling sorry for the Beast here, because he can't do anything. He's just, he's stun-locked, right? He, he can't, well, he's, he's time-frozen. He cannot do a thing. And actually, in the first two minutes of this run, he doesn't even roar. He gets a roar away in the last minute, so... I'm assuming my score could have been a fair bit higher if he hadn't have done that roll, but already we're on track to really smash 3.5 million here uh, with a not optimized build, pretty good build, but definitely not optimized. My energy attack from cards I think is 79%, and look, we're, we're over 2 million at halfway. Anyway guys, enjoy the rest of the vid here. Um, I'll leave you with it. Stick a little bit of music on to finish this off. Uh, if you like the, um, if oh, there is a before I do that, there is another rotation if you want to try as well. You can do five, four, three, two, four, three, two, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, four, three, two. You can try that as well. I do this rotation because it's what I'm used to. Anyhow, I'll leave you with it. Stick a little bit of music on. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.